crown is covered in twigs that is not comfortable to sit on. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking for birds. I haven't been looking for birds as often as I want to. I've been experimenting, done a couple of other kinds of videos, and I felt like sad this morning. Like, what is my, my channel even for? What am I doing with myself? Looking for birds. That's the thing we're gonna do. So, back we are. And we have an important upgrade today. Something new, something shiny. We have a GoPro now. It, it's not a big deal for the reasons you might think. It's not about camera quality <laughs> as much as it is about my goddamn social anxiety. Oh, chatty magpies in the background. I always feel so embarrassed holding my phone out on a selfie stick. It's really obvious and visible, and it makes me feel so silly when I'm walking around past people, so I end up trying to get the clip over as soon as possible. The GoPro has such a wide field of view that I'm just holding it like right next to me. I'm just, it's so much easier, it's so much more subtle. I can hold it right next to me and talk and my face won't be right in the camera. My face is sometimes so close to the camera you can see all of my pores. And I don't want that, and I don't think anyone wants that. So today we're going to try out our GoPro and look for birds. I'm in a park, I'm actually in the woods of the park. Um, not the woods we were in before looking for stock dove. This is just a tiny little patch that is... I mean, it's basically all fields and I'm in the one tiny little bit of woods because it's really windy today. And the wind, it's not going to be good for the audio. It's going to be bad. But I'm here because there was a family of magpies. There were five magpies and there were three youngsters, I think, with two very annoyed parents. I'm going to try and film them. I was inspired to come here because I saw house martins near this area the other day. But I realized that they are living in someone's house. And I am not going to go up to them and ask to film their house. And I'm not just going to film their house. I do not have the balls to go up and talk to random people and say, can I film the birds that are living in your house? The, the social anxiety thing, it's a work in progress. We're doing our best. The videos that I make are a part of that, but we're not there yet. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's see if we can find that magpie family or anyone. Camera's in my bag. I keep it in a separate pocket to my sandwich. That's very important to me. I should have stopped talking about three minutes ago. Bye. So, camera is set up. Everyone in the park seems to not go into this area. They just walk in the fields and the paths. I'm not sure they know you can even go in here. But there are a bunch of little paths in here. Very nice, I'm very uninterrupted, and that means the birds are also uninterrupted. I just sat down here on a spot where I heard some great tits and I thought some blue tits chirping. And then I saw both. I got a little clip. I don't think it's very good of <laughs> the great tit because we're in this secluded shady spot. The sun is behind us. So any photos I got were not particularly good either. But you'll, you'll see that we've got two scruffy youngsters, I think. Not too scruffy, but still clearly not in their full plumage. Oh, a bug! I'm not scared of bugs. I'm not scared of bugs. It's just one of those little green ones. It's like an aphid. I'm not even scared. But yeah, there's our first birds of the day. Not really good footage, but it's so hard to get good footage of little birds. And the great did seem to have moved on from this spot. I thought they moved on because of me, but sitting still for a couple more minutes and having a mi modicum of patience. They came back. We'll try another area. I'd happily film some more small birds, if I could get them. So yeah. Okay, there's... There's now dirt all down my back from laying on the ground to tilt my camera all the way up so I can film the magpies. I smartly did not bring a tripod with me. I thought it'd be just a casual day hanging out. I need a good tripod. Mine doesn't actually fit in my bag, so I tend to only take it when we're being serious, TM, about bird watching. Like when we filmed the woodpeckers in the prelude to my plan ID video. That was a tripod day. And then I had to lug it around for the rest of the day. I really want a monopod. It's like a, well, it's a tripod with only one leg. On a normal day, if you were just 
watching the birds yourself, then you would kind of do that. You'd get your binoculars, observe what you see, move on to the next bit, observe again. And I'm trying to sort of do the same thing, but figure out a way to record it so that people can see what I'm doing. These guys, they're still above me, by the way. They're chatting and playing. They are the family. Now, I intended to sort of sit in the field with my camera out and wait for them to fly down to the grass and then film them bickering, because that's what happened last time I saw them. They were chatting, pecking each other, flicking their wings, begging from their parents, chasing their parents, who are decidedly not going to feed them anymore because they're too old. And the babies are having a hard time accepting that. And, but the area I saw them in has been commandeered by a group of people to play some football in, which is fine. Uh, but I found some more of those like little trails through the patches of woods near the fields, which I've not seen a single other person in these areas. I feel like I'm skulking. I'm skulking in the woods. They're very chatty, aren't they? That chatting turned to begging. Must have been a parent nearby. The baby chasing it down. It's probably most of the day for the parents for the next week is trying to teach their children that they will no longer be feeding them and to go get the worms themselves. <laughs> we also have to skulk in the woods because of the wind. I wanted to film. Oh, I saw a couple of seagulls. I got eclipse. I think there was one herring gull and one lesser black-backed gull. They are the main gulls that I see around this area. I think they're quite handsome, though. I know they're, they don't have a great reputation. I quite like a good gull. I would happily go gull watching, you know, looking... There are many different species of gulls, and some are quite rare. And some people will just watch flocks of thousands of them and try to pick out the rare species of gulls. I think that would be quite a nice video in its own way. Just, um, I guess, quite a calming one. And one where you sort of like kind of a where's Wally kind of thing we can talk about what to look for and then see if you can spot it in the video with me anyway total tangent nothing to do with what we're doing here that is the magpie family I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the footage I originally wanted to get of them playing in the field I think I'll just walk around like somewhat aimlessly see if I can hear some birds chattering singing now a wren I've heard him many times wrens are one of the smallest birds of the UK and I think looking for a wren in the woods is very very similar to looking for a needle in a haystack except that the needle occasionally shouts at you I'm right here although it's nice to be able to say hey that's a wren as soon as you hear the sound that makes me feel like I'm kind of like good at bird watching. I guess good at identifying the sounds. Anyway, I have a nice clip of a blackbird who just didn't fly away when I pointed my camera right at him, which was nice. But a lot of the birds are hidden away, especially with all the leaves on the trees now. I think I'm going to have to internally accept a, a lower standard, a lower quality of the video clips of the birds that I get, or fewer of them. If I want to make my vlogs more regular, which I do. I want, ideally, to be making them like all the time. We're just going out looking for birds all the time, man. But that I cannot do. I mean, not in my current capacity. I can't... If I always feel anxious that I haven't got enough good clips, then I'm not going to be able to do it. Like, like... Yeah, that's him again. A needle in a haystack that's just like, I'm here, I'm right here, I'm right here, and then it moves somewhere completely different. There's a baby magpie in here. There he is. Can you see him? There's a baby in there. 
Hey, baby magpie. Aww. I'll leave him alone. I can see him. He's a baby baby, barely got his tail. I just saw him jump in here. Hello, Mr. Magpie. A nice little thing. See, he's, I mean, about two feet away from me. I should leave him alone. <laughs> I'm probably scaring him. Well, that's it for birds, I think. I think I'll just go home and chill out a little bit. Subscribe if you enjoyed uh, watching. And I'll see you next time.